Hello everyone, welcome to Next Eyes. In this edition, we are going to discuss some of the species which were recently seen in news and also relevant for the UPSC. Our first species is Black Tigers or Melanistic Tigers. It was in news because the Odisha government is going to set up a Melanistic Tiger Safari, a first of its kind in the world near Simlipal Tiger Reserve. Now what are Black Tigers or Melanistic Tigers? They are a rare color variant of the tigers and are not a distinct species or geographic subspecies. The abnormally dark or black coat in such tiger is termed pseudomelanistic or false colored. Melanism is a genetic condition in which an increased production of melanin, a substance in the skin that produces hair, eye and skin pigmentation results in black or nearly black skin, feathers or hair in an animal. The IUCN status of the species is endangered. Now let's talk about the Simlipal Tiger Reserve. Simlipal derives its name from Simul, silk cotton tree. It is located in Odisha's Mayurbhanj district adjoining Jharkhand and West Bengal. It is Asia's second largest biosphere reserve and the country's only wild habitat for melanistic Royal Bengal Tigers. Rivers like Buddhabalanga, Salandi and many tributaries of Baitarni River passes from the reserve. UNESCO added this national park to its list of biosphere reserves in 2009. Our next species is Snow Leopard. It was in news because recently the Union Environment Ministry first census report on Snow Leopard was released. If we talk about the species, the Snow Leopard is an inhabitant of the high alpine regions of the Central and South Asia and is often referred to as the ghost of the mountains. If we talk about its distribution, they are distributed across 12 countries in Central Asia from Southern Russia down to the Tibetan Plateau including Mongolia, China, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India and Nepal. Its appearance is characterized by its thick fur coat adorned with a pattern of dark rosette and spots blending seamlessly with their rocky snowy habitat. With a long, powerful tail for balance and muscular limbs, they are skilled climbers and agile hunters. If we talk about the conservation status, they are listed as Scheduled 1 species under Wildlife Protection Act 1972 and IUCN Red List classifies them as vulnerable. It is the state animal of Himachal Pradesh and the Union Territory of Ladakh. Our next species is Indian Grey Wolf. It was in news because Recently, Indian wolf has been sighted after a gap of more than two decades at the National Chambal Sanctuary. Let's talk about the species. It is an intermediate in size between the Himalayan wolf and the Arabian wolf. If we talk about the distribution, they are distributed across the Indian subcontinent to the West Asia. In India, their number is around 3000. Indian wolves are nocturnal and they hunt from dusk to dawn. Now, let's talk about their conservation status. They are listed as Schedule 1 species under Wildlife Protection Act 1972 and IUCN Red List classifies them as least concern. Now, let's talk about the National Chambal Sanctuary. The sanctuary is located on the Chambal River near the tri point of Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. The sanctuary is home for critically endangered ghadiyals, red crowned roof turtles and the Ganga River dolphins. Our next species is Pungunur cows. It was in news because Prime Minister Modi fed Pungunur cows on Makar Sankranti. Now, let's talk about the species. The species is an indigenous breed native to the Pungunur Taluka of Chittor district in the Rayasima region of southern Andhra Pradesh. If we talk about the body type, they are unique dwarf breed considered the shortest humped cattle in the world. Pungunur cows can be white or grey or of shades of light or dark brown. They have small crescent shaped horns of 10 to 15 cm length which often curve backward and forward in male cattle and lateral and forward in female cattle of the breed. Our next and the last species is penguins. It was in news because the first king penguin death in the sub-Antarctic region was attributed to the bird flu strain of H5N1. Now let's talk about the king penguin. They are the second largest penguin species. If we talk about the distribution, they live on Antarctic and sub-Antarctic islands. Their major colonies are found on Crozet, Prince Edward Island, Kerguelen Island, Heard Island, South Georgia and Macquarie Island. King penguins don't make a nest and they carry their egg around with them at all times on top of their feet by taking turns. If we talk about the conservation status, IUCN Red List classifies them as least concern. Now let's talk about the other species of the penguins. 
The first one is Humboldt penguin. The species is endemic to the Pacific coast of Chile and Peru and they are named after the Humboldt current. IUCN Red List classifies them as vulnerable. And the second one is Emperor penguins. They are largest of all the penguin species and are endemic to Antarctica. Their IUCN status is near threatened. With this, we are going to end our discussion. I hope you like this video. For more updates on current affairs, you can follow us on our social media platforms. Thank you.